Hi Charlie, thank you for coming to Capo to talk to us today. Uh, we host Falkirk here on Saturday. Can I just get your thoughts coming into the match, please? Yeah, we're um, excited. We obviously we went up to Inverness a couple of weeks ago and got a good point um, and we wanted to build on that and unfortunately we had the, the break, but we've had a good week, couple of weeks training and we're uh, really determined to get a good result. In terms of those matches, your, your last two matches were against um, Inverness, as you mentioned, and Air United before that. Obviously, contrasting emotions with those matches, the Air United performance was one that I think everybody admitted was unacceptable, and then Inverness was quite positive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think um, after a bad result, you have to react well, and I think we did. We conceded a bit of a sloppy goal on our part, but um, it was a good point. It's a tough place to go, and obviously I travelled up the day of, and uh, sometimes you can get there and get uh, put in a poor performance, but I thought we did really well, and we had chances to win the game, and we uh, scallied some great saves. So I think the point was fair, but it, we were happy going back down the road with at least a point. The Air United game, that's one... It was the last home game, um, it was a 5-1 defeat. You will be hoping to make up for that at home this time, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I think, um, obviously, that was a bitterly disappointing game and it was, on our part, it was uh, disgraceful and I think now we've got a good opportunity and we'll all be up for it and we've got a bit of an added incentive to go and uh, prove the fans that we're, we're a good side and, obviously, uh, playing against Falkirk who are not doing as well just now, we can hopefully go and uh, be a positive uh, performance and get a good, really good result. You mentioned Falkirk. They haven't had the best of starts to the season. They're bottom at the moment. Is that something you guys look at? Does it put any pressure on getting a result at home at all? I think we obviously look at their position and think they'll maybe be a bit of low in confidence, but I think at the same time they're a good side, um, good club, and I think they'll, they've got players that can hurt you and they, they can, they're also quite good at the back. So it'll be tough, and I'm sure they'll be... Um, up for it as well because they don't want to keep putting in bad performances and uh, getting results so yeah it'll be a really challenging game and we've got determination to put that Air United result at home uh, to bed Obviously with Falkirk sees the return of Ray McKinnon our former manager is that something the squad are thinking about at all is it something is it's a distraction you guys are trying to look beyond what is the kind of feeling amongst the players I don't think we can pretend it never happened. It, 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 what happened happened, and boys were disappointed. But we've uh, the new managers come in, and we've got uh, the same group of boys and a manager that's wanting to put some positive ideas forward. So obviously, it's on the back of our mind. But our main focus is to get the three points, which we need and uh, we're desperate for. So is that the feeling then? You guys, as, as a squad, have moved on now. You're looking to the future. You've got a new manager, and, and that's the sort of perspective. I think so. Um, there's no point in dwelling on it. Uh, it was a bit of a shock for us all as a squad, as a, a club, I think. But um, as I said, the managers come in, Peter Houston's come in, and they've brought different ideas. And I think the team's buying into it at the moment. Obviously, we've had a few, we had a bad result, but we've picked up a few points here and there. And I think now it's time to turn those draws into wins and the positive parts of the games and play for a, hopefully a successful and uh, positive 90 minutes. You mentioned the draws there. It's been like three draws in the last four, I think. Is that? And I think you touched on it. Was just the importance of turning those draws into wins at this yeah. stage. I think you're not far. Um, it's such a competitive league, and I think if you put a good few wins together, you're you're going to be there or thereabouts. So, um, it's wee things that we need to work on, and I think we have, and we've had the week off. Um, albeit some boys are ruined to keep going and just keep playing games and getting results, but it's a good week to work on things that we need to work on, and. Um, build on momentum that we've got um, so hopefully we can uh, go into that and we'll all be up for it and ready to put in a really good display Speaking of momentum in terms of your your own performances, you've got two goals in your last two games, things are coming together, you're in the team how are you feeling about um, how things are going on a personal level? Yeah, really good, I th um, it's obviously on a it builds your confidence getting a goal but I think it's the players around me have created chances and for me and I've been lucky enough there to finish them off so yeah hopefully I can build on that on a personal note but if it's if we go and win on Saturday and I don't score I'm more than happy but I just want to play a good part in the game and hopefully I will Is there anything you put your uh, form down to at the moment Just you, you seem to be flying you're getting the chances you're scoring goals Yeah I think it's just positive just trying to get up in the game and obviously usually I'm 
played more in the middle of the park and now I'm playing a wee bit of a different position. So it's more just getting up in the game and making sure you affect it there because I'm in the positions now to score and affect the game in a positive way. So, yeah, hopefully hopefully I can continue that and it's just getting in those positions and hopefully being able to take the chances. You've been taking those chances. Um, <laughs> is there a target in goals or anything like that? At the start of the season, I was just kind of getting the team and play performances, but now obviously I need to think about it and if I can just keep getting more and more goals. There's no number, no target at the moment. Um, it's just one game at a time. If I can go to start and get another goal, just keep building on that. But uh, yeah, putting in, I want to also contribute in the defensive side as well as going forward. So yeah, it's an all-round performance. So. Just one final question. Was your goal at Inverness? Uh, Michael Tidza pulled it back. If you watch the video, it's as if Michael doesn't he couldn't have seen you were there. Were you screaming for him to cut it back at that point, just out of interest? No, the thing is, I, Gary's blocked it and ran through, and uh, I'm running behind just thinking, Tids is really good at the ball and he can do anything with it. So I was thinking perhaps he, he might see me, and he did, and he's pulled it back. Uh, and it's an easy finish for me. It's brilliant play for him. And I think, as I said to him after, I thought, oh, did you not mean it? And he did. Looking back on it now, you see him, and he has a wee glance just as I'm running, uh, as he's running through, and he just pulls it back, and it's a. An easy finish for me. Excellent, Charlie. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, good luck against Falkirk on Saturday, and fingers crossed for another wee goal. Then yeah, fingers crossed. Cheers. Thank you.